Hi, my name is Lena and I grow flowers as a hobby. One of my favorites is dahlias, next probably peonies and lisianthus, but dahlia seems to be the queen of all the flowers. I probably have over 200 different kinds. And then here I have about uh, uh, over a thousand plants. I also have some in pots and I try every year different ones and I get rid of others that just don't do it for me anymore. So um, some of my favorite colors are probably pastel and uh, rusty colors. Uh, I even grow some yellows, even though it's not exactly a color that everybody likes, but I enjoy it very much. It's like a burst of sunshine. Uh, I don't feed and I don't tie, hardly ever I tie a plant. I do the bud, I take all the little buds out around so I can get more big, perfect flowers. And I pinch some, some I don't because I want it that fast flower. It takes another maybe couple weeks or maybe even more if you pinch, but you get more flowers coming up and a bit smaller, which most of the time, especially in a plate dahlias, it's better than a plate. Uh, some of my favors are um, the pompons and uh, pompons and water lilies. I seem to really like water lilies too. And um, pompons, water lilies, and not too big. I don't like too big a dahlias. I mostly uh, like taking them home and do arrangements. It just brighten, brightens my home and my soul. Okay, so this year I got uh, some bloom quests for the first time. Um, I'm really enjoying them. This one here, it's called Bloom Quest Sweet, and even the bees love it. Very sweet. Um, the leaves seem to be damaged because I think it was a case of mites I have. I had in here, it's a uh, Bloomquist Blast Off. And she's huge. She's also beautiful. I really like it. It's uh, very similar to Bloomquist Jean, which I have no flowers at all, but the color is very similar. Uh, the shape is slightly different. Then in here, I have uh, Bloomquist Joelle. She's uh, lacinated, or uh, some people call it frambiata. Uh, I really like this, this. Then, moving along, I have here uh, Bloomquist Ruby. This one I'm in love with. It's like a perfect dahlia. And the color is a very hot pink, very beautiful. And then in here, I have Bloomquist Pinwheel, also very beautiful. This one is a keeper for sure. Then going around here, This particular one is uh, Bloomquist Allen. So this one doesn't have the right center. That's a young one. And it grows to be a very, quite big flower. There's a big one here that it broke. And then of course, as they get old, uh, they get an open center. And I also cover them because um, of bugs, uh, especially the Japanese beetles and the, um, there's these other ones. Um, I'll think about Maybe them. plant tarnish bug? Uh, tarnish bug, and uh, there's another one. I'll find one in a dahlia. And then, let's see, this side. This side, um, this is another Bloom Quest. This is Bloom Quest Clear 
the light. Um, it's a, it's the first flowers, very tall, very, it's probably the tallest dahlia I have in the garden. Let's see how she's going to do next year, because right now I'm not too impressed. This one I love, it's um, Bloomquest Amazing. And uh, it starts with a closed center, and I just love the colors with yellow in the center and then orange to white in the tips. Very nice. Uh, Bloomquest Peaceful, and it's a yellow pom pom with just like uh, she seems to show a little bit of brown when she starts to open, and then it sort of goes away more into a, or um, just yellow cute little one so this is a, a 20th of softer peach uh, I'm very impressed with the color very thick stems it stands right up and lots of flowers like this is like just lots and lots of flowers then oh I cannot forget this one this is Darcy and she's also very beautiful, like sort of a caramel color. And uh, she just lots of flowers too, and very beautiful. So then this is uh, 20th half Baker Street. It's a beautiful white pom-pom and um, stays a very long time uh, either in here or in a vase. I have taken it home and they last a very long time. So this is uh, Sandia ISA. It's uh, one of my favorites in the Sandia collections. She's a, a water lily. She lasts uh, just all summer. She was one of the very first dahlias started to flower and she just, it's cutting and coming again. She also lasts a very long time in water. Uh, very nice green foliage. I'm very happy with this one. What are you doing here, Lena? Oh, this is because I must have um, pollinated with something that I don't want any other bees to uh, come to it. I probably did it with a Calgayan or maybe even I think was with a Lean's Lexi. Okay. Or a Holly Hill. Uh, uh, serenity I've been I've been trying to pollinate water lilies see what's gonna happen so when will you collect those seeds uh, I this this is probably gonna take well if there's a frost coming I will gonna cut them and put them in water at home um, there's more like I will take even the ones that uh, I didn't pollinate these are also they will have seeds it's just I didn't pollinate them so I don't know what's going to come out of them well this one i don't know what's going to come out of them but anyway i if there's frost coming i will cut it and put it in water for a couple weeks and then let it dry and see um uh, and then see it next spring then in here i have um this one is normandy bright day it's uh, a dinner plate uh very uh, peachy and I really like this one too it's the first year I'm growing it too and then in here I have Kelgeyan that everybody's talking about this is just to die for they're very beautiful they go from almost white to almost the pink depends at the time of the year or maybe the amount of sun they get but this is a keeper I love this this is um, Zandert Mystery Fox. I also like it. It's a nice pom-pom and seems to be, uh, goes from like nice colors. I like it a lot too. Then here I have Migadine. Um, this is also really nice. Very nice lavender color. Strong steams. Uh, very nice Dahlia. And, uh, of course, there's Linda's baby, which everybody likes Linda's baby. If you can only grow one dahlia, I recommend Linda's baby. Hiding in here is um, one of my favorite dinner plates, um, Breakout. Now, 
this is really really nice too i love the colors very very soft very beautiful so this is Happet champagne it's uh, also one of my favorite this year i have a sweet thing for these lacinated dahlias and this one is just i don't know how to describe it it's like this very soft beach i guess that's why they call it champagne very very nice i like it and they last pretty good too for an elasinated uh, dahlia there's a uh, more kelgayan and then moving along i have here carmen fiesta this is a lot of fun it's like uh, a bunch of colors from yellow to red to pink and very fluoriferous it just keeps giving too and i take them home all the time then in here i have um, bracket rose uh this is special <laughs> she's nice big beautiful i really like this that one. one bracken sarah oh yes i'm sorry bracken sarah not the bracken rose i should have the bracken rose somewhere uh, this is actually a cute, a cute uh, white one. It's called Orset Beauty, but it's tired of flowering. It just keeps giving all summer. This one is Lakeview Peach Fuzz. And uh, it's like a, a mixture of like very pale yellow and pink. And um, it's sort of lacinated, but very small blooms. I really like that too. This is Copper Boy. Um, it's like a very dark, rusty color, uh, quite special. Um, in here, actually, this is Cheval Megan. Um, I actually think this is a Canadian Dahlia. I think what they say about Cheval Megan is that it's a red that doesn't fade at the back. Oh, is and, that what it is? And it's, look, it's true. This one hasn't faded at all okay. from the sun. It's been here for a long time. This is Geneve. Uh, this is gonna go. I, I don't like it. There's, it's too short. The, the stems are way too short. I have hiding in here. Holly Hill, and I just broke it, but it's okay. Holly Hill Regal. Very beautiful, deep fuchsia. I call this fuchsia more than purple. Very nice too. Then in here, it's a uh, Wayne's Pink Pearl. It's a beautiful dahlia. The first one was humongous, very big. Um, I really like it too. Um, most of the Wayne's dahlias are the very nice dahlias. This, I also like this, it's called Lights Out. It just, I like it sort of darkish steams and um, lasts a very long time. A nice dark red. Then there's a Crichton Honey. Uh, I like it and it lasts a long time. Sort of a very nice honey color. Very nice. Um, this is a... Um, This is very nice too. Blyton Red Blyton Ace. Blyton Red Ace. Very nice. Long, big steams. Very nice. Peaches and cream. That um, everybody likes. So do I. Um, everyone should have it. Very nice style, yeah. And then we have here, um, Holly Hill Serenity. Uh, this is kind of, it's just dreamy with uh, lies. Uh, this is a wall that's been here for a long time and it's tired of flowering, you know, but uh, they just um, go from very pale yellow to pink and they kind of open all the way up during the day and they're more like a cup shape, like a water lily morning and night very beautiful i really like this this is a 
raw hide, another uh, water lily. Uh, it actually came from Swan Island. I've had it for a few years and I like it. It's a keeper. I, I, I really love the darks around the petals. Very pretty. This one also from Swan Island. It's called Enforce. It has these like raspberry to dark rusty colors. I like it a lot too. Then in here, I have these um, very tall, they the pristine white, and I've also had it for a few years. It's called Lady Liberty. Uh, quite big, the, the petals turn down. Very nice for arrangements. That's a keeper. And it's very healthy looking, very right? Healthy. Look at how nice and beautiful, healthy this looks. So in here we have Sweet Fabienne. It's uh, very tall stems, very beautiful pink ball. I really like it. It came from Five Fork uh, Farms. They, it's the first time I think they um, send uh, to uh, Canada, like export. I also got from them Salish Twilight Girl. This particular one already open center, but um, it's very nice. Also, I got from them this um, orange globe. I only have this uh, old one right now. It's been here for over two weeks. Then in here, I have Senior's Hope, um, a very dark dahlia, very nice too. Which is very nice. In here, Holly Hill, pink martini. Uh, it's a water lily pink and white. You like your water lilies. Eh? I love water lilies. <laughs> this is creamy. It's like a very light pale yellow. Very nice too. Silent night. There's no nothing open. Um, and then this is Lakeview Peach. Uh, no, this is Lakeview Lucky. Very nice dahlia too. V uh, lots of flowers. Very lots of flowers. Now this one here is Hey Party, Hi Party, H Y Hi Party. Very nice too. I really like it. Then here is Hamilton Lilium. Nice peachy pink color. Nice blooms. And then here is Ilcrest Suffusion. Also a really nice Thalia. Very They're all nice. kind of in the same color range, right? In the same color range, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love these rusty colors. Yeah, they're beautiful. Very nice. So this is a rosy raven. It's an anemone. I believe it's what's called, right? The yeah. colors are very pretty and I never seen one this dark. It, it really stands out in the bouquet. Very nice. This is a rock run Ashley. It's uh, very fluoriferous and it's just nice for bouquets too. In here I have candy cane. Uh, I love the candy colors. Candy cane or candy, candy corn? Candy corn. Sandia yeah. candy corn. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Close. Then in here I have this humongous. Um, cafe au lait. Oh, look at that color. You can see She's why everybody queen. loves that yes. color, right? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Then in there, that is uh, Cas Rosy Joe. I just love the raspberry of that color. And I have quite a few of them. Oh, there's also Cas Khaleesi here. I even put it in a very big bag, so the the there's already a bag inside. But I put it so the hair wigs won't touch it. Then in here, growing it for the first year, it's um, Wayne's 
a new pastel. Yeah, that's nice. She's yes, I love the mixture of the center, the mm -hmm. two colors. Really very nice. Mm -hmm. Then in here, Bracken Palomino is starting to open a bit behind. This is, uh, I don't know, I think it's called Take Off, but it might be another name for it. She's, uh, I actually never pick up any flowers. She's just growing all over the place. Do you ever put singles in your um, bouquets when you make a bouquet? I do, and I have a few singles that I really like. For some reason, this one I just never did, but uh, I do have a few singles that I really, really like. Then, um, this is Hamari, Hamari Rose. Uh, very nice pink good form also and then and here it is a single here's a single but i think it's called uh, heather hail i like this this white single mm -hmm. because the petals are so long mm -hmm. you've got the bouquet why don't you turn the bouquet I, and show us okay. <laughs> show us how nice it looks <laughs> there you go. We're going to talk about a few of those. Beautiful. Thank you. This is Fiona. I don't remember if I showed it already. If I didn't, this is absolutely beautiful. It's a must have. And then I have this one that I've grown for the first time. It's called Shimakam Baby. And it's a little pompon full of different colors. I really like this one. Um, Wow, look at how nice it goes with holly heel pinky. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Yes. So this is also a favorite of mine, holly heel pinky. Also the first time growing it. Very pretty. This is called Foxy Lady from uh, Cowlitz and the States. I often order dahlias from them and they have very good quality dahlias and this is really nice. I like it. Then I have here Cecile. It's sort of a orangey red, uh, unusual color, but I like it a lot too. This is an oldie. Uh, most people don't talk about it. I've had it for years and to me it's a keeper. It's called Colorado Classic. I, I love the shape of it. Looks wonderful in a bouquet. Then in here, this is from one Swan Island and it's called uh, Gets Crazy. And I love the colors and the shape of the petals. Very nice. And speaking of Gets, there's uh, Gets Perfection. Um, this one is very light colored. Usually they're a little bit more pinky, but I love it. Very nice also from Swan Island, there's Vintage. It's also a nice color. Then uh, we have here um, Crazy for Teddy. I really like this, the colors, very nice too. I'm uh, just gonna pick the one that, up that fell down here you. so we don't, because it's a beautiful one. And this is Micaiah Miranda. A lot of people grow this. The only, I love it. The only problem with this dahlia is it doesn't like when the weather is too hot and uh, the bugs love it. From, uh, from the Japanese with beetles to the, to the hair wakes, everything seems to like to munch on it. Then this little pompon, it's called Fern Cliff Spice. I also love the colors in it. I've been told that they're very nice to dry in silica, silica gel, or um, I never use them. This is a little bit older, but it's one of the singles I go called uh, Rumble Bumble or Bumble Rumble, either way. And then uh, this is an oldie and it's called Vica Lucia. And I really like the colors in it too. Very pretty. I like, um, if you hold it still, 
it's got a picotee around each of the petals. I don't know if I can get that there. Now you can see it. Very pretty. Yeah, I think this dahlia is very underrated. Okay, so what else? Oh, one here that a lot of people, a lot of people have it. It's um, Chilson Sprite. That's very popular. I also like it. This little one is a uh, Winhom Diane, I think. Yeah, I think I you're it. right. I think yeah. that is. Yeah, I like Winhom Diane. Diane. The Dianes are very nice. They're, yeah, I only have this one. I think there's like three Dianes. Yeah, Winhom, Tracy, um, and Cream. Creamy Diane I've been mm -hmm. looking for. I think I've already showed this. It's Southern Belle. But this is a keeper too. I just love this dahlia. Yeah, that's nice. Been growing it for a few years. Yeah. Love it. Beautiful. Thank you. Dahlias that I moved to the side because I was not 100% sure about uh, their health. I also had a deer problem uh, after I planted it, like a week after a deer came through and they pulled a lot out of the ground and they were exposed to the sun for uh, quite a few days. Uh, so I thought of putting them in pots, trying to save them. And some of them are doing okay. This is one of them, that's one of them. And then some of them, I'm not sure about their health. Uh, but they, that probably will be thrown out, these four. Um, this one looks okay, This these look okay. And even that. So I'll be doing uh, some picking and choosing in here about uh, all of these dahlias. What's this one, Nina? This is Bloomquist. It says here Bloomquist Clear the Light, but I, uh, there's... Um, it's got a little white tip on each of the it's petals, It's got a little eh? bit, but it will either be a Clear the Light or a Pinwheel. I think this is Clear the Light and that tall one was a Pinwheel. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see how it goes. It's the first flower. And then I have a boho, boho peach here. Um, because it's a very small plant and it has tons of blooms. Uh, no blooms, I mean, um, yes, like a um, the buds, buds. Yeah, yeah. Tons of buds for a little plant. She's cute. I like the color. Let's see. Then in here, these uh, were the ones that uh, the deer, let me get this one here. This is called Burlesca. Cute little oh, pom pom. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Then in here, these are the ones that um, some of them, I had them in that row and the deer went over. And here I have um, Kaz uh, Bella Luna and it's giving a lot of flowers. Mm -hmm. Very That's happy nice with this one. Sometimes they open completely white and uh, these happen to be more lavender. Mm -hmm. Very nice. In here, I have Cass um, Blood Orange. I hope you enjoy the tour of my garden and all of my dahlias. Um, I hope everyone had a good season, dahlia year, and uh, till next year.